Hey, hey, Libra, intuitive soul coach here with your January 2022 love reading. So welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we're going to dive into the collective energy of Libra and take a look at all things love. Whether you are single, separated, or partnered up, we will look at it all. So just a friendly reminder, this is a general reading. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you would like to sign up for a personal reading or even uh, become entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, Libra, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right. So we are going to get a few messages from the Romance Angels before we dive into your Celtic Cross. So first off here, for those that are separated or even single, uh, we do have possibly codependency showing up here, and we do have separation. Like I said, we'll we'll jump into a couple different scenarios here before we dive into the Celtic Cross. But the first one up is separation. Time apart from your partner may be on the horizon. Separation. We also have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Uh, so some of you may be in separation from somebody currently, or even if you are partnered up with them, you may feel a little bit separated or isolated from that energy here. It may be due to addictions, and it doesn't have to just be alcohol or drugs. It can be addictions of any sort uh, with that double energy. Anything tempting you, obsessions, manipulations, lies, materialism. Uh, it can be anything that uh, may be toxic to your energy, to your situation here. We have you deserve love and express your love. I feel like this is for those of you that are single. Uh, you deserve love and you are lovable. So a lot of you are raising your vibrations at this time, raising your frequencies to attract and call in a new energy, a new love for 2022 here. It says go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So some of you may be ready to get back out on the boat here or back out into the dating field. Uh, expressing your love. For those of you that are in a committed relationship, that may be a theme for you in the first half of the year is committing to each other, doing more acts of kindness, uh, doing more things that involve the both of you, especially if you've been feeling a little bit distant or separated here. And uh, I am getting the energy of <clears throat> whether you are single or partnered up here or even separated, forgiving and learning. It says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. A lot of you are working on forgiveness. I feel like this has been a common collective energy for a lot of signs for the month of January is working on forgiving themselves, forgiving what others have done as well and looking at love through a new lens. It's looking at love through a belief that you are worthy, that you can attract and hold onto and have the love that you desire, especially for those of you that have been single for a while here. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. A lot of you are really having a glow up in the month of January. Whether you are single, you are feeling magnetized, you're feeling on track. A lot of you are setting goals for the new year and uh, you are manifesting. You may be even making a vision board. You may be making a mental or even a physical list of characteristics or traits or goals that you would like to see or accomplish within a love union here. So I really like this energy starting off for a lot of you here. You're definitely coming into love with a brand new sense of belief. So let's dive in Libra and see where your energy is currently at for January 2022. Let's take a look at where your energy is at. All right, we have heart chakra right away here, right smack dab in the middle of your love reading. We have the heart chakra, which is about giving and receiving equally. It's also about forgiveness. It's about uh, being open to love, opening up that heart chakra. Whenever I get the, the heart chakra card, it always reminds me of the Ace of Cups. Uh, it can be about an abundance in love, a new opportunity. It's about someone finally being ready to open their heart. For others of you, it may be about self-love, especially if your heart has been closed or blocked in the recent past here. It's about opening back up to new opportunities coming in here. So you may be releasing a lot of anxiety, uh, even depression, loneliness for some of you. If you've been having heavy chest or heavy uh, heart chakra areas here, 
or even any illnesses that may stem from that chest area, such as maybe pneumonia, or uh, maybe you have had COVID, or maybe you've had uh, anything with your chest, your hot heart chakra, you may find it healing and feeling a lot lighter and a lot better in the month of January. So with the heart chakra, we have the nine of cups. Beautiful energy here, Libra. Dreams coming true. I love this. A lot of you have uh, been working on forgiving yourself, forgiving others, like stated here. And I feel like a lot of you are expressing your love. And in return, you're receiving it back here. Dreams Coming True is a beautiful card for you to be in during the month of January because it talks about manifesting. So be careful what you wish for, Libra, uh, because you might just get it. Uh, this is also one of the most positive, lucky cards in the entire mi minor arcana here. It's about your dreams coming true, wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, happiness, achievement, completion. So there is a major lesson here that I feel like you have been going through for a while. For those of you that have had that heavy chest, heart chakra area, uh, you've been doing the healing and going through the transformation. For those of you that are currently in a relationship, I feel like something has shifted dr drastically inside you where you may have a relationship completely turned to 360. For example, let's say it was rocky the first couple of years or you had a lot of trials and tribulations to go through. You may find that a lot of that was to deepen your bond, even if you didn't realize that at the time, but now you're coming through those hurdles together. For others of you, you may be deciding that uh, you are raising your frequencies and somebody is not coming along with you and you may decide to go the other direction. Uh, but for the majority of you, I feel like your dreams are coming true. Whatever it is that you're wanting to manifest in your life here, is uh is happening but we're going to clarify this energy here for you libra before we dive into the challenge so spirit can you please tell me about the heart chakra and the nine of cups showing up here queen of pentacles a lot of you are working on maintaining your career the house uh yourself the queen of cup or excuse me queen of pentacles energy here is somebody who's stable and secure and working on her own growth here she's very successful and abundant possibly a healer a working parent uh, a nature lover she's very practical and thrifty with her time with her energy here so i feel like the queen of pentacles is somebody who is an overall Great achiever, brings a lot to the table here, is very good at a lot of different things here. And the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's feeling good about where she's at. So you're getting there, Libra. This is wonderful. You are doing a lot of things and multitasking very well at this time. And I feel like you are focus on goals. You're very, uh, very goal oriented as a lot of you are in the month of January as we move into the new year, but a lot of you are achieving and hitting goals here. So I really love this for you, but let's dive in. Oh, I must've forgot one over here. Uh, let's dive into your challenge or obstacle Libra and see how we can help you navigate through that Ooh, for the month of Okay, interesting. We have the lover's card coming up here. Okay, so the lover's card showing up as the challenge does talk about a choice. And that's exactly what we're talking about here uh, in your energy. Some of you may be deciding to connect with somebody and deepen a bond. Others of you may be deciding completely to walk away from something that isn't emotionally fulfilling. And deep inside, you will know here at a soul level, Libra, what it is that you are going through, your own circumstance here. But the lover's card is Gemini energy. It's about a choice. It's about a major life-changing decision uh, to either come into being. It's about mutual feelings, contract, twin flame energy, soulmate energy. It's coming into a partnership, I feel, for a lot of you. But it's how to how to connect on a, a deeper level. That may be a choice that you'll be making. And again, it's about beliefs. The challenge for you is resetting or reprogramming your beliefs around love so you can grow and you can uh, attract the love. Because again, expressing your love uh, may be a challenge for you here, but it's about expressing it outward so you can receive it back as well. But let's clarify this energy here for you, Libra. Spirit, whoa. 
Holy moly. You have a lot of relationship stuff coming up here for you. This is, you're getting the same energy on top of the same energy here with the two of cups. So I know we're doing a love reading, but whoa, Libra, your January is going to be huge here. Two of cups energy is about a high level commitment here. So you're healing the past. You're healing trauma. This is about you opening up to love. Some of you, a second honeymoon is required or needed at this time. Some of you may actually be taking a trip with a loved one. Uh, for others of you that are single or separated, there's healing that is taking place here, forgiving and learning as you did get in the beginning here. Uh, let's get one more card regarding this two of cups. You have a lot of love showing up. So you're healing something that was very traumatic to you, I feel. Let's get one more regarding the lovers, Spirit. I feel like you're getting past obstacles with another. You're growing. Uh, again, whether you decide to go off in a di different direction or you decide to become stronger with another, we have the Queen of Wands showing up here. And the Queen of Wands is about making sure you are bringing security to your relationship, especially for those of you that were very insecure about a situation or about yourself. This is regaining your confidence, regaining your uh, attractiveness, your independence. This is about you feeling that self-worth at a level that can't be uh, penetrated by the outside world here. So I feel like a lot of you are really gaining a lot of power in that solar plexus and trying to feel way better about yourself. Some of you may even be taking this to additional steps such as eating healthier, working out, uh, doing dry October, it's about you changing your inner self to reflect your outer self. And some of you may find that you cannot carry relationships the way that they were in the past here. But there's a lot of healing within this. Even though we don't have any healing cards, I feel, Libra, that you have been doing a lot of healing. So let's dive in and see what is below you. What is below Libra for the month of January 2022? Wow, Major Arcana, we have the Hierophant. This is about tradition. It's about commitment here. Libra, when you commit to somebody, you want to commit fully, but you also want them to invest and commit to you fully as well. So this is a very powerful energy showing up because there's a divine guidance here that is backing you up, but there's also a divinely guided union that either you are currently in or that you were in in the past here that taught you a lot of lessons here. This is part of your spiritual journey, part of, uh, part of your spiritual path here with the Hierophant. Uh, there's something here regarding uh, tradition that you may have wanted in the past. Maybe you wanted the, the children and then the marriage and then, you know, you wanted the happy family as, you know, some people do, but there's something non-traditional about a relationship that you were in or are currently in here that uh, you need to do differently this time around. So what this is telling me here is something that you did in the past where you were trying to hold on to the expectations of tradition needs to let go, needs to become liberated or free because it's not going to work in this union or it didn't work in a past union. But let's clarify this as well. They're really giving me a lot of spiritual lessons and guidance showing up for you. Uh, that is something that you are still currently going through, I feel, even if you are single or in a solitude energy. Uh, let's clarify this Hierophant spirit. King of Wands. Wow. So you got the Queen of Wands showing up here and now you have the King of Wands. Uh, this is somebody who is a leader, somebody who's very passionate, very successful, very sexual, um, can also be very adventurous and warm. So this may be the person that you are committed to here. And I feel like somebody may have uh, may have grown up, may have uh, matured here. Let's take a look and clarify this King of Wands energy. Uh, this person sometimes in the past, you may have been inflexible, maybe even a little bit egotistical, uh, sometimes tended to be on that angry or explosive side. And maybe this was you, Libra, uh, but I feel like you're ready to commit to personal growth and you're ready to commit possibly um, to a relationship. Let's get one more for the Hierophant. Thank you, Spirit. The Fool. Okay. 
So in the past with this King of Wands energy, we have the Fool card. So I feel like there may have been uh, an incident where maybe you felt foolish, maybe you felt fooled, or you just wanted new beginnings here, okay? Uh, you wanted to take a chance on this relationship, or you wanted to take a chance on this new beginning here, or you wanted a fresh start to come in and commit. That may be where you are currently at here, but let's take a look at the past. What's happened for Libra in the recent past? Spirit, what do we have for Libra? Okay, we have darkest fears, Libra. It makes sense. Uh, nine of swords energy is about you feeling a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry, a lot of stress. There was a situation, again, that you were healing from that uh, maybe kept you awake at night. Maybe it caused you um, to really do some soul searching. Maybe even go to therapy. Maybe uh, reassess a relationship or the way that you felt about yourself. Something may have really stomped you down here. And I feel with your darkest fears, you have started Started to face them head on and heal them which is quite beautiful let's take a look at why all the anxiety why the worry okay oh one flipped out here we have the hanged man which is uh you seeing things from a different perspective here absolutely okay five of pentacles in reverse hanged man in the upright so what this is saying here is you're surrendering to something here in the past you may be surrendering to a relationship a pattern a habit a behavior a thought a limiting belief you're seeing something completely turned around now uh, than it was in the past because you did feel left out in the cold you felt uh, alone here with the five of pentacles you felt like possibly uh, somebody was withholding feelings or somebody just made you feel really isolated it could have been a small situation Libra uh, a small minor event or it could have been something huge and tremendous where you felt abandoned or rejected and you were triggered here and you had uh, possibly past issues come back up to the surface for you to heal and work through, especially during the months of October, November, and December for you. So you can go into January, 2022 with a clean slate. So you've been doing some massive shifts, massive healing and learning uh, in the past, like even the past you know, couple of years, but especially 2021 for you, Libra. Let's take a look at what is the potential showing up for your love January 2022. What is the potential? Uh, they're showing me a candy cane. A candy cane, if you, I know we just had the holidays here. We're about to have the holidays uh, as I'm doing this reading in December. Uh, but I feel like either you're eating a candy cane, maybe you're looking at one, or maybe you are, uh, you have a candy cane scented candle. Please take it as it resonates, as it won't for everyone. All right, here, spirit. Okay, we do have you going through some challenges. It doesn't surprise me because you are in the healing process here. Again, especially for those of you that are feeling separated or are uh, in the need for a separation on the horizon here, we do have challenging times. But I feel like for a lot of you, the five of wands showing up here is about needing to work together, needing to collaborate here, especially if somebody is overly competitive in a situation. For a lot of you, this is mental blocks. This is the switching of limiting beliefs here, but we're going to clarify this energy and see what uh, the challenging times may be here for you. Okay. Thank you, spirit. We have the five of wands clarified again here. So double energy is saying just what I just said. There needs to be equal give and take. Somebody needs to put in as much as they are giving. And uh, this isn't a bad thing, Libra, because again, you are raising your vibrations and your frequencies here. And whether you are single, you are not going to settle for somebody who's not willing to put in the effort. Same if you are with somebody here, Libra. So kudos to you because this is saying that you are doing what's best for you. And I feel like you're really uh, are manifesting your best future for yourself here. And it may be um, a challenge at times for you, which I'm seeing that you did get that twice here, but I feel like you are willing to do whatever it takes to attract and call in the love that you desire. Uh, this is also about you feeling better from the inside out. So I do like this energy showing up for you. But when the six of pentacles shows up, it says that there is going to be uh, times where if you are in a relationship, the both of you need to work on equal give and take. Somebody can't be giving, giving, giving and taking, taking. There needs to be that equal compensation on both sides here. Somebody putting in the effort here. 
I feel like this is also about uh, receiving help from others. So some of you may be seeking out additional guidance, therapy, support from friends, family. Uh, I feel like there is a, uh, a healing within this energy here. So those of you that are wanting to heal a situation, I feel like it can be done, but it may be challenging to get there, but it will be worth it when you do. For others of you that are wanting to live your best path and you're wanting to attract and call in, uh, I feel like it, it may uh, be a little bit longer than January, maybe even towards the end of January. They're giving me the 21st quite strong. But let's get one more card regarding the Six of Pentacles spirit and the Five of Wands. Spirit, what else do we have for... Libra. Okay, five of cups in reverse, which is good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Five of cups in reverse here is all about faith in the future. You're finally appreciating what you have. So yes, there was a loss. There was a little bit of disappointment, a little bit of bitterness, or even somebody feeling a little bit of resentment here uh, towards something being shed or lost or gone, but you're f having faith in the future. So it's like the light at the end of the tunnel. If you've been having issues in a relationship, there's a fresh start coming in here. There is, even though we do have challenging times, I feel like this is uh, mentally, it's something that you are shedding to give birth to new, so to speak here. Because the five of cups, again, in reverse, is you appreciating what it is that's right in front of you. So there's a shift in mind. Mindset. And I feel like that may be a challenge to you, but I feel like the second half of the month, Libra, uh, you're going to have a whole new perspective, especially with that hanged man energy in the past. Uh, let's take a look at what's coming in for you in the near future. What is showing up for Libra? Okay, some of you are going to be detaching with the detach card here. Uh, this is justice. You are showing up for yourself here. Uh, this isn't a bad card because it could mean here that you are detaching from any beliefs that are holding you back. And that's kind of that energy that I'm getting here. You want to move forward. You do not want to be stuck and stagnant. And that is sometimes a challenge for people to come outside their comfort zone, come outside of their beliefs here. So the 11 showing up is about karma, good karma coming back here because you've put in the work here. Balance, this is about weighing up your options. Some of you may be seeking uh, legalities. Some of you may be weighing up your options here, especially for those that have you, uh, those of you that are wanting to go in a different direction uh, away from somebody here. It's about good karma coming back but let's take a look and clarify this as well so do remember law of attraction what goes around comes around libra and uh if you've been if you had one of those years or if it's been uh, a challenging time for you you're definitely going to see a new shift in energy and i feel like it'll be for the better uh we did have quite a few cards show up here we have the Six of Wands. And for those of you I always say that have been following me, this is one of my favorite cards in the deck here. And I know it's a minor arcana, and I know sixes uh, can be about sacrifice sometimes, but it's saying that the challenge that you have been through will be rewarded. The Six of Wands is all about victory or success following a difficult period. It's about being raised up. It's about accomplishment and uh, a successful conclusion. So something has ended here. A cycle, I feel, has ended, and you're going into a new turnaround and that's what you're detaching from even though we have challenging times here don't let this scare you off libra because it's about you shifting that mindset and it may be a challenge to get to that new mindset but i feel like it's not going to take forever you'll actually feel a lot better about it internally which will reflect in your outer world we have the judgment card showing up here. This is about a change of life path. This is a wake up call. It's also the card of second chances. You're being given a second chance here to do something differently this time around here. We have the two of wands. Is the grass greener on the other side here? It's also about should I stay, should I leave energy? But I feel like uh, a lot of you that have been stuck in the past or felt like there was a delay or you just couldn't get out of your head about something that's happened here, this is saying no more. There, there needs to be a decision this is about you stepping forward and getting out of some sort of fear-based energy about making that next move. And that's where that challenge is actually coming from here because we have the King of Pentacles followed with the uh, with the Seven of Cups energy. So you have a choice. You have the choice here to shift the energy. The King of Pentacles is, uh, you got the Queen of Pentacles earlier. So what I feel like is happening for you here, Libra, is you had the, the Queen of Pentacles show up earlier. 
Uh, now you have the king. You also had the queen of wands show up earlier and the king. So I feel like there is a power couple here or a couple that may be struggling to overcome who they once were and step into who they can become is the energy I'm getting. And you have the choice card here, which is you being uh, able to make a choice, make a decision to go from the old couple or the old you into the new one. For those of you that are single or separated, this is about you going from that old version of you, your beliefs on love, to opening up yourself to somebody or something new, some new energy that can come in and be quite successful for you. So very beautiful here with the Six of Wands. Let's take a look here, Libra, and see what it is that you may be telling yourself in the month of January 2022. What are you telling yourself? Joy and stability. Yes, I love it. Four of Wands energy, card of 1111, twin flame as well. Uh, Four of Wands is about celebration, hitting a milestone. This can also be halfway to marriage. It can be about weddings. It can be about uh, even taking a vacation with somebody. But most importantly, it's about stability in your home and in re your relationships. So for those of you that are single, maybe you're enjoying life. Uh, maybe you're not even looking for love. Um, but if you are, I feel like you're wanting to attract uh, somebody to come in and enjoy the beautiful things with you. Uh, for a lot of you, I feel like you may be in a relationship already. Uh, and if you are, this is your main goal. You want joy and stability. I feel like a lot of you, you know that the person you are with may be your power uh, person or your person. Uh, but this is about bringing a lot more of this, especially if things were rocky in the past here. Uh, if they have been, you're making a decision. You have that lover's card, which is the challenge. So a lot of you are making a major life decision showing up and whatever that is for you we have the queen of cups wow another queen okay so this is about you being intuitive uh, i feel like this is uh the energy you are embodying with this queen of cups you are extremely intuitive very compassionate libra you're emotionally secure uh you are starting to emotionally evolve and that's what we've been saying in the very since the beginning here is you're not at the same place that you were a year ago I mean, who is? I mean, some people are, but I feel like you've really ascended and you've grown and you've emotionally evolved here. And it may not have been easy, I'll be honest, but the Queen of Cups is somebody who maybe she's, uh, maybe you're psychic, maybe you are a tarot reader or a medium, maybe you are in a profession that's very caring, but this is about making sure that you nurture and care for yourself so you can uh, take care of others as well. Make sure your cup is full, Libra, before you uh, hand it to somebody else, and I feel like you're finally getting to the point where your cup is full and you're ready to commit, but if somebody else isn't, if there's not that equal give and take, then something's got to give here. Let's take a look at what is coming into your environment. What is coming in here for Libra? That one just went shooting. Okay, something's going to come in quick for you, Libra. Uh, I love it. Balance. Absolutely. Uh, the balance card. This is temperance. Something that you've been waiting a while to bring balance into your life here. I feel like there's going to be a compromise. There's going to be a blending of energies. Remember that uh, Six of Pentacles card that showed up earlier? That was that equal give and take we spoke of here with your challenge. This is about balance. Bringing something together here. <clears throat> So this joy and stability that you are wanting to manifest and create for yourself, you see it coming in. This is a major arcana. There's a huge shift here. And Libra, I feel like this is for the better. A lot of you. Some of you, this could be a move. Some of you are uh, taking a vacation. Some of you are possibly moving in with someone or you're condensing uh, finances here. For those of you that are looking for love uh, or you're in the single energy, I feel like you may be attracting somebody or at least getting out there again. But let's take a look and clarify what the temperance or the balance means for you. <clears throat> you're getting rid of this nine of swords energy, okay? Because this is the past, right? You've already had this. You've already went through the nine of swords. So what this is saying here is there will be balance to any, <clears throat> excuse me, Libra, there will be balance to 
a specific area in your love life that is cause for worry, cause for stress, cause for concern here. The Nine of Swords is saying that there's a huge shift. I'm very surprised we haven't seen the death card yet because I feel like whatever this is, it's a major transformation for you. So you're getting out of whatever uh, caused you sleepless nights, caused you a lot of anxiety and grief. You're letting that go here and you're bringing a lot more balance. Let's get one more card for that Nine of Swords energy. Yes, perfect. I love how that uh, showed up for you because you do have that in your past. So something that uh, was difficult for you to overcome, something you were hanging on to, you're now releasing. I love it. Four of Pentacles shows up in the reverse. Uh, and you can see here that she's hanging on tight to her her personal, uh, her belongings, her identity, herself. Uh, this is saying that something that you've really hung on to, again, you are finally letting go, releasing. And uh, I feel like you are not withholding some sort of affection any longer. You're letting something go is the message. And with you letting that go, Libra, you're creating balance for yourself. Let's take a look at your hopes and your fears. What are Libra's hopes and fears? They're giving me the name Jimmy. I think Jimmy has shown up for you before, Libra. I'm not sure, but Jimmy. Uh, it could be a middle name or maybe it's uh, your name. Maybe it's a partner's name. Maybe it's a place you met at. I'm not sure. Take it as it resonates. Jimmy. All right. We have the devil energy here. Devil energy is in the hopes and it's in the fears. Uh, this is a very legitimate energy to have as hopes and fears. And I'm glad it shows up in that position here because it's saying that your hope here is that you can free yourself from a toxic uh, pattern, a uh, uh, anything tempting, an addiction, uh, codependency, materialism, anything addicting you uh, or tempting you to stay in a toxic energy here. Your hope is, again, that you can release it. The fear is, what if it's too tempting and what if I can't? What if I can't overcome that limiting belief or that fear or that anxiety or that worry or stress? So uh, let's clarify this energy here. So there's something here that you're, you have uh, two major arcanas, actually one, two, three, four, five showing up in your reading. Uh, so very huge shifts happening here. A lot of big life changes. So let's take a look for you. You're really wanting to work on your, um, <clears throat> your attachments as well. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, the hope here is happy family, serenity, peace. Ten of Cups is one of the happiest love cards you can get. It's about uh, feeling content in your relationships. It's about uh, good fortune, harmony, communication. It's feeling the love. It's goals. It's feeling content. And the fear here is what if everything gets shaken up? What if I can't, uh, what if I'm too tempted to either stay in this relationship or stay in this uh, tempting energy here? whatever this is for you. But the hope here is the Ten of Cups. And this is everybody's hopes, Libra. So I feel like whatever it is that you are trying to go towards, which this is your hope, you know, I feel like you'll manifest it. Uh, but it's going to take a little bit of mental thought, training, beliefs. It's also going to take some strength within you with that Leo energy showing up. Let's take a look at your final outcome, Libra. Whoa. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. We have... Whoa. Okay. This is pretty powerful. I'm not going to lie. You have two more major arcanas, but right before it, uh, we have win or lose. So it's your choice. And especially because like we were just describing your hope and fear, you have the hope to either stay in something that's tempting, but you know, it's not good for you. <clears throat> doesn't have to be, you know, a, a relationship. It certainly can be. It can be a thought, a pattern, a belief, something that's toxic to the detriment of a relationship here. Or maybe it's a belief if you're a single, a belief that you're hanging on to that is actually repelling love. Uh, but you have a choice here to either win or lose. But with the uh, sword pointed downward, Libra, I feel like you are putting your sword in the ground and you're saying, you know what? I, I'm, I'm going to close myself down to some sort of um, negativity, some sort of toxic energy. It could be even shutting down communication for some of you. Uh, but the five of swords showing up here, I feel like you are choosing your battles and you're walking away from anything that is stressful, anything that keeps you awake at night, anything that is uh, anxiety. So you're walking away from this nine of swords energy because right behind it, we have rebuild. Not only is the devil showing up for you uh, as a hope and fear, card 15, 
Your outcome is card 16, which is the star, or excuse me, it's the, uh, it's the tower. You're rebuilding. You're transforming your energy, which is beautiful here. A lot of people get very scared of the tower, but this tower is going to create a completion, an ending of a cycle because you have the world right next to this here. So you have uh, the tower followed by the world. Something is coming uh, down. I feel like it's not so much crashing down. I really feel like this is an internal shift in a belief system, I will say, or it can be an addiction here or a pattern. It certainly can be for some of you shutting down a relationship, uh, but I do feel uh, for the majority of you, this is a way of thinking, okay? The tower can be internal and it's a surprise here coming in and I feel like this is uh, a sudden revelation that offers you freedom. Uh, it's a release. It's a flow to get rid of any of that energy we spoke of here. The world card showing up uh, can be about a cycle ending. Uh, you did have that karma card show up, that balance, that justice. So I feel like if there was a cycle, a karmic cycle or a pattern, a relationship, a belief, if there was something that was really um, harmful to either yourself or a relationship, you're shutting that down here. So this is quite intense, Libra, but also very, very beautiful. You're, it's your decision, though. You have the win or lose. Do you want to walk away from something that's not serving you? Uh, or do you want to continue in that energy here? But it says that you will choose to rebuild and you will choose to embrace. What are you embracing? I feel like you're embracing love. I really do here. We're doing a love reading. Uh, you're rebuilding your sense of self, possibly rebuilding uh, your life, maybe rebuilding a relationship, uh, but it's going to be a happy completion, a happy ending or a happy cycle here, especially with the balance card showing up and uh, all of the major arcana, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them showing up. There is a huge shift going on for you. So this is a really, really intense reading, Libra, for you. All right, let's get a message from the wisdom of the oracle here before we dive into the soul truth right away. One comes out. So if any of you are interested in any of these decks or would like to know uh, about them, you can find the info in the description box below. We have co-create co-create here. So this is about you uh, coming together. Absolutely, Libra. I'm going to read the relationship message from the guidebook here, card 40, and also that four when you break that down, four zero is four. That's the emperor energy. You're taking charge of your life. You're taking charge of a situation here. So the co-create card is all about creativity. It can be about manifestation, which is going to be quite strong for you. Uh, you're a beautiful manifester anyway here, Libra, but this is about uh, fruition, something coming uh, up, especially with that world card. The relationship message is this. Connections of the heart serve to inspire you, opening you up to new ideas you would never have come to on your own. You are looking in a mirror held up by this experience and seeing yourself in an unexpected way. Who is this extraordinary being looking at you? You are going to be so happy that you kept your heart open. Your love is a unique work of art now, the very embodiment of beauty. Very beautiful here for you, Libra. Uh, Co-create, you're definitely opening yourself up to love. And that was the big message that spirit was illuminated, uh, illuminating while reading that message for you is stay open. If you choose, and that's what that win or lose card is here. Again, if you choose to stay open, if you choose to walk away from anything that doesn't serve you here, you will be uh, rebuilding and embracing love. I like this a lot. This is very beautiful. Let's take a look and get a message from the Soul Truth Oracle. And I recommend that you either pause the video if you can, Libra, and jot this down. Oh, uh, or really uh, pause the video and really think of your answer. All right. Am I getting enough rest to restore my energy and fully show up to my life? Whoa. You got the card of sleepless nights two times now, but you have it in the past and you have it uh, in the future. Your message is this, you are the asset. This body is your vehicle. Notice how your body is feeling, how much sleep you are getting and what you can do to help your body rest. Today's soul action Libra is this, take a bath, put on some lavender essential oil, go to bed ridiculously early or give yourself a timeout today. Notice your body thanking you. Today's mantra, 
The more I give myself permission to rest, the more I can contribute. A lot of you, because you are going through this, this healing process, this brand new uh, emergence, it's almost like that butterfly coming out or that that uh, caterpillar coming out and turning into that butterfly energy here for you. And your body is recovering here, especially if you've been through a lot of anxiety or a lot of stress here. So this is about giving yourself the self-love, the care, the rest needed um, to rebuild that energy because you have something beautiful culminating behind the scenes here that maybe you can't see, maybe you can, but I feel like you're going to be really happy you opened up. All right. For those of you Libras that are returning, and even for those of you that are new, now is the time we, we will do the power animal uh, exercise. It's just a few minutes here where I have you close your eyes, Libra, and I have you tune into that third eye chakra. Now that is the chakra between your eyebrows. And I ask that you think of the first animal that shows up in your mind's eye. Now this can be an animal that maybe you just seen, maybe you have at home. Perhaps it's an animal that flies high in the sky, or maybe they swim deep in the sea. Maybe they're domesticated or wild. And if you need a moment, Libra, just pause the video. And for those of you that would like to be entered into my free monthly reading giveaway, all I ask is that you post whatever power animal you've seen in your mind's eye in the comment box below. And I personally will enter you into that free monthly reading giveaway. Okay, these are the messages from your power animals. We have Dove Spirit, Be Peace. This is what you are attracting into your life. Uh, they're showing me, and I, I love this, whenever I think of peace, I always think of inner peace in the midst of chaos. So this is about you, regardless of anything coming your way here, uh, whether it's uh, external influences, maybe it's something you're not even a part of, and it seems like there is a tornado going on around you. Uh, this is about you staying calm within your energy and finding that inner peace to navigate and get through anything here, Libra. So beautiful. Dove spirit. They're also showing me, um, some of you Librans, uh, you may have went to, oh gosh, it could have been either a funeral or a wedding. I know those are complete opposites, but funeral or wedding where somebody released doves. Okay, so please take that as it resonates. Uh, we have Crow Spirit. Wow, co-create with spirit. And you got the co-create card in a different deck. This is really powerful. Um, so you may want to really take note of that co-create message here. You're co-creating something here. Beautiful. You're creating something more beautiful than you could have imagined. And uh, they're also illuminating card 17, which in tarot is the star. And that is about hope, inspirations, and healing after a tower moment. You have White Raven, trust in the magic, Libra. Trust in the magic that I feel like even though we're doing a love reading, there's something quite deep, quite soulful in this message here for you today. And trust in the magic that spirit has your back and uh, that you are focusing on self-love, self-care, and that is what you will attract in a partner. We have Panther Spirit, reclaim your power. Absolutely, especially with that solar plexus energy going on here. This is about you gaining that confidence. Like we talked about that uh, Queen of Wands energy uh, showing up. This is you gaining your confidence, you becoming more bold, uh, you becoming more independent, more passionate, and also knowing your own self-worth is going to be very key for you in January 2022, regardless if you are male or female. And lastly, we have the Abundant Universe, will provide buffalo spirit buffalo this is quite powerful for you they're actually um they're banging on a drum right now uh, with Buffalo Spirit. So maybe you have a drum that has uh, maybe a buffalo on it, uh, or maybe you have some a drum with feathers on it, as you can see the feathers here, or maybe you have some sort of heritage uh, that ties in with the Buffalo Spirit here. So please take it as it resonates, uh, Libra. And last but not least, we typically pull from the crystal uh, jar, but I am going to pull from the Crystal Spirit Oracle deck. I absolutely love the imagery here as you can see beautiful and I will read the relationship message before we close down your reading Libra all right spirit what do you have for love for Libra January whoa 
Something's coming in quick for you. I feel an unexpected shift, whether this is internal or external. Uh, we have sodalite. Beautiful. This is the energy here of sodalite. If you can see this here, if you have the stone sodalite, Libra, work with that. It's about uh, communication, creativity as well. And it's about co-creation, Spirit just whispered. Co-creation, and you got that card twice. So we're just going to find the message here. It's card 52. Uh, when you add that up in tarot, that is the seven. And the seven's the chariot. And it's about triumphant success over whatever it is that you are trying to manifest in your life. It will be successful, Libra. This is about uh, conscious awareness, inner knowing, self-confidence, and clear expressions. Absolutely. And the relationship message is this. Healing doesn't require perfection, but it does require that you remain awake to the truth that you are a divine, beautiful being always connected to the universe who wants the very best for you. Spiritual amnesia will send you circling back to old patterns you vowed never to repeat. The appearance of sodalite spirit is a reminder to reestablish your sense of connection so that the conscious universe can guide you to where you need to be. Do not forget your worth, your values, and your truth. If you are unsure of the next move to make, meditate. As you remain present in the moment, you will more easily avoid spiritual narcolepsy and falling back into the old ways. Whoa, major goosebumps, uh, Libra. This has everything to do with that hope and fear of that devil energy, uh, like we spoke of here in the hopes and fears position. Sodalite is saying, connect with yourself, live your inner truth, meditate, because spirit has you uh, divinely guided on that right path. And this is, a, this is about you not repeating the patterns or the past or things that did not work for you. So very powerful reading here, Libra. I love it, especially going into the new year, new year, new you. Uh, you're going to do big things this year. So stay positive, stay aligned, especially with your inner truth. I hope this resonates with you, Libra. If so, please feel free to hit that like button, share, comment your power animal, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I am sending you all out a lot of love and light. Till next time.